This is Dabu7 with an update to the New Zealand earthquake, one of which was so powerful that it caused the seafloor to lift two meters through the sand, virtually causing chunks of the land here to explode through the sand. And what you're seeing here are clams that are attached to the rock still, along with the seaweed, everything else. And this before and after along the coastline here shows just exactly what happened in this area as the earth was thrusted upward along this whole coastline, distorting it in many different ways. Now, I've shown some of the images of some of the damage. Here's a look. You can see some of the clams still connected here. The roadways completely flattened or washed out. You can see in some of these close-ups, you can see where there's a cliff off the edge of the road. Uh, there's animal life that cannot survive that's been pushed up above the ocean. In some of these areas, extremely, extremely dangerous still. As landslides continuing, many roadways blocked, houses completely flattened. You can see the train tracks completely warped and distorted. Roadways cracked, crumbled, leaving many people in shelters and in homes. They need prayers, guys, out here in New Zealand from this massive quake. This was a very, very powerful quake. Now, for those that missed it, I put out a video which had some interesting detail in regards to this seismic blast ship that just so happened to be parked right on top of the fault line up here that witnessed this. Uh, they also had FEMA in town the week before. Okay, and they were not trying to show on any of the maps where that blast ship was. Uh, we, we ended up finding out because there was protests in Wellington as it was approaching, and it stayed out to sea, and there was several local news stations that ran the report on it and other individuals that caught the images of it out there, sitting there, right as this massive quake hit. So it's almost as if FEMA, whoever was controlling that blast ship, and others knew what was about to happen in this area. And instead of any warnings being given out, simply let this go down. And as I also talked about, one of the key areas up in here has been evacuated with hundreds of people. And what has happened since? They're telling the people that they're no longer going to be able to live there. And we come to find out that there has been a massive oil find or for natural resources, a big discovery in this area, which means now that this quakes hit and no one's living there, they're going to come in and swoop up all this land and use it for themselves. So there, I got a feeling there's a big pocket of natural resources hidden down here. They obviously know about it. They let the cat out of the bag already. I talked about it in another report. But man, all the questions swirling in the damage done in New Zealand from this earthquake was no joke. As you can see here, pushing the earth, the sea floor, up two meters through the sand where it's permanently now sticking up out of the ground. But if you guys know of anyone down in New Zealand, have any images, anything you want me to report, let me know, dabu7yahoo.com. Also, make sure to check out our recent sponsor, The Essential Drugstore. Chose to go with these guys specifically so people out there would have an avenue to go down to get medicine for them, their pets, stocking up on antibiotics, insulins, anything like that. Things you're going to need before a crisis situation. So it's there if you guys need it to utilize. I'll leave links below. And also make sure you're following me on Twitter because I put a lot of updates out over there. Prayers going out to the folks in New Zealand dealing with this. And I will continue to update. This has been Dabu7 with an earthquake update. Much love, y'all.